Hi. Hi. So a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a front end developer. Yeah. So I'm a HTML5 guy. Yeah. Yeah. HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript is my forte. Okay. And then nowadays I work some in JavaScript development and do some Node.js stuff. Okay. So today, um, have you guys heard about things like Hamel, uh, Compass? Or uh, SAS, yeah. How many of you are front end developers? Front end developers? Hi. 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 Do back end. Huh? Do uh, back end. No. <laughs> 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 I love the back end. How many of you are the back end? Trust the money. How many of you deal with HTML every day? I know HTML or CSS every day or every other day. Okay. So do you agree that dealing with HTML and CSS is a pest because you have to write all those? Extra things that you wish that you don't have to write. It's all kinds of. Okay. So today I'm going to talk about Jade and Starless. Okay. So Jade can turn what you write over here every day into this. You are just writing much less code. The less you type, the more time you have to do things. Okay. So what about Starless? Okay. Uh, okay, this is just a demo of what you can do. So let's say for a focus file like this. To create this thing in pure HTML, you need to write uh, this amount of this amount of uh, HTML, right? But this is what you need to write in J. Okay, it's much simpler. So if you uh, if you use tools like this, right, you can have less time uh, writing, repeating all these jobs, <coughs> closing, uh, thinking of uh, the INS things, right, and have more time to think about how do you make this faster. Okay, so today I'm going to demo how it works and what, what kind of things that you can do. Okay, over here I'm just using J and Stylus for an example because uh, I'm using, uh, we are using uh, Node.js as our backend. Okay, so for the Ruby guys or the PHP guys, there are the other other frameworks that are similar that you can use. Okay, this is for the JIT, which compiles to HTML, and Stylus, which compiles into CSS. Okay. Uh, one minute. One minute. Okay. So usually. For a website, what will we do? We have to start by writing um, HTML, close HTML, and then hit, close hit, body, body, and all this crap, right? <laughs> 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 Sorry. So in J, what you have to do is, this means HTML, this means hit, this means body. And what we can do is, uh, let's say hello world. That's it. So we are, let's compile this thing. Okay, so it's compiled. So let's come to this page and check it out. There you go. So you can now, you see, the source. Uh, you guys use Firebug, right? Chrome <laughs> 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 Inspector. Chrome Inspector, or OK, Zoli Juka. Okay, so it compiles to all this. So, <clears throat> so what about CSS? Okay, let's link our CSS. So, link. Uh, let's link to the CSS, uh, the CSS file, right? And then, um, here's a uh, start and then in our CSS, let's do something like background is 
for the styles. The compound styles will appear just as how you expected. Lah. Okay. So let's say right now you want to create a button. G yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
So let's say if we think that this color is too light, we don't want it to use a lighter color. So we can just adjust the light color by let's say 30%. Wait. Oh yeah, sorry, like the yeah. I don't know what to start with. Like the sorry. Okay, so that's a bit too like let's try this. Yeah. Or maybe Harinder's uh this spot will be darker when we hover through this, yeah, so let's try this darker. Harinder, this spot. Okay. So what happens? What happens if you want to do a gradient? <coughs> yeah. Use SVG. Use SVG. Uh, use Photoshop, and then you chop uh, everything, right? Okay. So let's try something much easier. We can do it directly inside others. Background, linear gradient. That's the easiest thing, right? Okay. So the gradient we want to start from the top, and then we have uh, two colors. Let's say uh, at first it's the light color. Uh, okay, so at the top we want it to uh, lighten by let's say ten percent, and then the bottom we want it to lighten by uh, sorry, lighten. There is. So maybe it's not like or dark enough, so let's try this. It's a Michael Jackson. Yeah, it's a Michael Jackson. Wait, wait, wait. Ha 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 so it'll be slightly lighter. Small detail there. Oh, it's so hot. I want to just write it. So what happens if we press down on the So this it can be even darker than the darkest spot. Like that. <laughs> okay, we are in the gradient. Uh, we might want to reverse the color so that it looks like it's pressed down. So let's just move here, over here. Okay. So press down. Looks like it's pressed down. So yeah, maybe our this is not so square. <laughs> 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 Thunder, so let's add a border radius. The best thing about this is that you don't have to bother about the 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 all these things. The browsers are specific. Uh, 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 had, uh, not to say had prefixes. It already compiles automatically for you, so you only have to worry about the most important things. What you want it to do, like <coughs> <the answer. laughs> right. So let's say, so like just now, previously we had uh, shown uh, how the color can change, right? So if we change it directly on the variable itself. Color. It automatically changes to this color. So the advantages of this is that you can keep a separate color file or a separate team file. All you have to do is just change the colors or your variables and your whole site will change directly. Yeah, you don't have to go and search hunt for each color property and what you have to do with it. Yes, yes, yes. But that's for another time. <laughs> okay, so if you notice that what this thing compounds into is uh is all these browser prefixes. It means that it couldn't it will not appear in IE. Let's just say that. The gradient will not appear in IE. 
So to fix that, <coughs> let's do <coughs> the cool thing about stylus is that it can turn it into a base 64 image. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. cool image. So all you have to do is to add the height of this thing. So how tall are you? Six pixels. Six pixels. I don't think it's hard to find, you know. Six pixels. Sixty pixels. Wow. Sorry. I need to update the size so we have to put the size in front.
Thanks. Woo. 